So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to sell final expense and how to pitch the three options to get your clients to want to buy. I'm going to share with you exact frameworks that I've used to sell hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of final expense. And ultimately, I'm going to make this video for you because when I was a first brand new life insurance agent, I would get people all the way to the close and I didn't know how to sell them. I didn't know if I sell them two options, three options, tell them to pick one of the options and I'm going to share with you how to structure your offer to make it so good for them to feel dumb for not buying and to teach you how to close. So you've done the hard work, you've took them through the intro, you've got the discovery, you've got the pain, now it's time to close them and I'm going to share with you guys exactly how I do it, how I structure the offer, how I create the offer and how I create an offer so good where they want to say yes. Uh, my goal is to help share with you guys all the things that I'm doing that has helped me um, grow and succeed in the life insurance industry and ultimately how I'm training a team and how we're training our agents to become successful so that you can prov provide more for your family and make more money for your family. So in this video, I'm going to create a sales training for you on how to master the close and how to match master pitching the three options to get more people to say yes. Let's go ahead and get it. Cheers. So for this example, I'm going to share with you how to sell um, final expense life insurance to Mr. Jimmy who wants to cover his burial expenses and, and possibly leave a few extra dollars behind to his to his son because he's on a fixed income and he has to see what he can afford. So first thing that I like to do is structure three offers. So a lot of us get to the end, we don't know how to start it. So the three offers are number one, it's going to be your starter option, which is around a good 45 to $50 a starting point. The second option is going to be the most common option. This is the most common. I'm going to share with you why we label it this way and ultimately how it's going to be probably the option that they're going to pick. And then the third is the max option. So before I go into it, I'm going to go ahead and load up the the most. The first thing is my, my starter option is going to be here. Let's say here the 12000 for the burial. Uh, the most common is a $15,000 program. And then the max option is going to be a $30,000 option. So what I like to do is... All right, Mr. Mr. Johnny, uh, first thing is I want you to pitch the company first. Let them know who they're working with. Uh, Mr. Johnny, what we're going to be looking at here, I found you the best option statewide. It's with a company called Mutual of Omaha. Have you have you heard of them before? He's going to say no or yes. Oh, yeah, I've seen them on the TV. Okay, gotcha. Well, Mr. Johnny, they've been in business since, you know, let's say 1964. Uh, they are A-rated with the state, and they have not missed a payout in, in 20, you know, over 60 years. It's a very well-known and established company. Okay, Johnny, the most important thing to recognize and to understand is that if, God forbid, something happens to you, your daughter, your son will get this policy payout in 24 to 48 hours, and it's a prestigious A-rated company, okay? So I like to understand, and first, as we go into the, the buildup or the close, is help them understand that they are going to be placed with a very reputable and a very powerful company that actually pays out their death claims, okay? If they don't know who John Cena's insurance company is, they're going to be like, wait, 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 I don't care how good the offer is. If, if they're not an established company, I don't want the life insurance. So first thing is to build up the company. Now, the second thing is to set expectations and to set that down sale. So, okay, Johnny, so I'm going to show you here three options, Mr. Johnny. Now, you can go up, down, sideways based off of your budget and your needs, but it's just very important today, Mr. Johnny, that we just find something that's comfortable and affordable for you and ultimately something that's going to help you give you that peace of mind moving forward, okay? Does that make sense? He's going to say yes. So basically, what you're doing here is you're working with Mr. Johnny. Mr. Johnny, what we're going to find you is something that you can keep. That's going to give you the peace of mind and it's going to be comfortable for you. I have a solution in place. You're just going to let me know. It's assuming the sale here. What kind of help suits your budget budget and your needs? Okay. What's going to help you sleep better at night? Ultimately, in these three options, we must understand in the close that is what we are selling. We are selling peace of mind. We're selling comfort. We're selling um, a way that they can sleep better at night inside the product. Again, this is an invisible product. So you have to learn how to structure your offer. You have to learn how to create so much value in a product that they're never going to physically use their self. And you're going to tie in their emotions here to help sell and to close the deal. So let me explain it. So first thing is, is going to be, um, we're going to start here with price, the 45,000. So I always like to start at price. So I always use the toolkits and I understand what are the prices. So for $45, most Americans, most people on a fixed income can't afford $45 to put a solution in place. So I'm going to start at $15,000. That's going to be my starter option. So you always want to structure your options based off the price. Um, that's also best for them too. So you don't want to sell him a $10,000 policy if it's going to be $21. He's not going to value that option. So instead, the $15,000 is going to be our starter option. 
the $20,000 option is going to be the most common option, and the $30,000 option is going to be the max option, okay? So here's how I do it. So here's in, in this, we're going to tie the first part and the second part together. Okay, so Mr. Johnny, what we are looking at here is going to be with a company called Mutual of Omaha. Have you, have you heard of those guys before? He's going to say yes. Okay, gotcha. They've been in business since 1927. They're A-rated with the state and ultimately just a well-known and established company that has not missed a payout claim in X amount of years. Just a very well-known established company. But ultimately here, and most importantly for you, Mr. John, it's going to be a company that is you know, going to write that check. They're going to make sure that your son gets this money in 24 to 48 hours if, God forbid, something were to happen to you. Okay, you following me here? He's going to say yes. Okay, Johnny, so I have three options for you. Now, we can go up, down, sideways based off of your budget and your needs. You just let me know which is going to be most comfortable and affordable for you. But most importantly, Mr. Johnny, what's going to help you sleep better at night or what's going to help you give you that most peace of mind, okay? I'm nodding and we're moving along. He's going to say, okay. Basically, he gives me permission. Okay, Johnny, so they have three options. Here's how to pitch it. So the first option is a starter option. Mr. Johnny, what this starter option, what that's going to do for you here is a $15,000 starter plan. What this is going to do for you, Mr. Johnny, that it is going to you know, be that you know beginner option. This is how they make it affordable for everyone. It's going to be an option where you can go to, go to bed at night knowing that, hey, it's going to cover all your funeral expenses, that when your son gets that knock on the door, that you know he understands that he does not have to pay for any of those funeral arrangements. So $15,000. What that's going to do for you and your family is going to make sure that that the casket's paid for, that the you know the vault's taken care of, that fifteen thousand will cover all your burial expenses now, and then the next year is to make sure that that full arrangement, start to finish, is taken care of. And most importantly, here for you, Mister John, this is going to make sure that as of man, that your son is not going to have to come out a single dollar out of his pocket to cover your full funeral expenses because you put something like this in place to make sure that he's taken care of. Again, this $15,000 is basically affordable for everyone on a fixed income. Um, and it's going to allow you to go to bed at night knowing that if something happens to you, your family will be taken care of. Okay. That $15,000 if you can get approved, is going to be $45.56. You follow me there? Okay. Now, the second option for you here, you write that down, okay? Now, the second option for you here, Mr. Johnny, is going to be the most common option, okay? This is what I'd say 99% of people who are on a fixed income, 99% of people who are, you know, um, you know, under $1,500 a month income, I like to label them, are going to typically go with okay so we're going to stop it here and break down what you do in the close so the starter option you give the you know you label it first the starter option and then you also say um kind of like the value this is the most important what is it going to do you know how's it going to help your family how's it going to provide a resource how's it going to help them give them peace of mind and then you hold off at the end until price because people on a fixed income very very important are not going to hear any of the stuff that you said above they're thinking about what is the price, what is the price, what is the price. So you want to delay that price word that they have, and you want to explain as powerful and as confident as possible what that solution is going to do. What is $15,000 actually going to provide for his family? What is that going to do for him? He's going to spend $45 every month, but what is that going to look like? How is that going to give him peace of mind? I think a lot of people make the mistake of, oh, the $45. So the first option is the $15,000, and you know, uh, that option is $45. Do not do that. Explain the value. Explain how it's going to give him the peace of mind. Explain how this is going to help him. Explain how this is going to solve his problem, and then give the price. Now, moving back into it. The 20000 most common is what most people do on a fixed income. This is what 99% of people typically go with. Label it, label it, label it. Now, what this is going to do for you, Mr. Johnny, is it's going to cover all your burial expenses now and into the future. You can have that full burial expenses taken care of now in the next few years. You can even adjust with inflation. And you could really, really, really go to bed at night knowing that now or in the future, if something happens to you, Johnny, that your son is going to be taken care of. That when he gets that hard knock on the door and that funeral director is you know, in his presence, he's going to have a check for $20,000 and maybe even a few extra dollars left over, knowing that his father thought of him and knowing that his father took care of him on one of the worst days of his life, okay? That $20,000 option, if you can even get approved, will be $59.68, okay? 
So explain, listen to that. Take notes, write that down. Listen how in depth that is. Explaining the pain, painting the picture. Then he gets that knock on the door and when he's standing in front of the funeral director. And ultimately you're also building emotions. Like he's going to know that his father did this for him. He's going to know that his mom was thinking about him. Like you want to tie the prospect's emotions into the clothes because that's what allows them to make an emotional decision. Man, that's going to feel good knowing that. And once you paint that picture, once you break down what that really, really looks like, guess what? You can move people with your words because you've attacked them in a, in a, in a confident and comfortable way where you can help them make a decision that they've been putting off. And that's really what this is doing. They probably know that they need it, but are you going to be the person that helps them get it? Okay. The last option is the max. So we got the starter option, option one, explain the value, move forward, price. Starter two, most common, label it. So what most people do, explain the value, give them price. Third option is the max. Whatever the max is for the carrier, let's say mutual max is 30000 The max allows for you to create the max amount of coverage for them to, to buy. Some people want more coverage and they don't want the small $5,000, the $7,000 policies, but they want the thirty dollars or the thirty five. dollars I believe mutual even goes up to like thirty five dollars or $40,000. Sell them the max. Create that option. Here, here's where, here's why, why you do that. Number one, starter option. It's like the popcorn trick at the movie theater. Starter option is probably what, what they don't want. It's the it's the cheap option that might do it. And then they have the large option, which is probably a little bit out of the price range, but you know some might grab that option and you're going to make the most money there. Or what you're going to do is you're going to create an offer where the middle option is really what they're going to go for because the, they don't want the, want the small option. They don't really want the big option. They want what's comfortable and right in between and what most people do. Okay, now that's why you do it. So you do the starter, the most common, and then the, you know, the last one is the max option. Hear me out here. So how you sell this, how the 30000 or the max off would be. Now, Mr. Johnny, it's a frame of discouragement, okay? Very important. You kind of want to discourage them because I'm going to explain here in a second. So um, Mr. Johnny, what they have last is the $30,000 option. Now, I don't really personally recommend this to you as a friend. You know, it's probably more than you need. You know, but if you wanted to just make sure that all those funeral expenses are covered now and into the future, and if you wanted to make sure that you can go to bed at night knowing that your son would always be protected no matter what, and ultimately, if you wanted to, you know, really make sure that as a man and as a father that your son could be left over maybe ten, fifteen, a thousand dollars after that funeral expenses and after one of the worst days of his life, if you wanted to do that. This is what that $30,000 option would do for you. You'd provide that full protection now and into the future. It would allow that large gift that you can leave behind. And ultimately, it allow you to sleep really well at night, knowing that no matter what comes up with inflation and how things change in the world, that you are secure and that your son is protected and he's taken care of. But again, I don't know if I really recommend this to you. It might be more than you actually need. But that $30,000 option here, if you can get approved, would be $87 and 92 cents okay now for you here mr johnny you know out of those three options do you feel that the the fifteen thousand or the twenty thousand dollar option would give you the most peace of mind okay i'm gonna stop you there and just train you on that so the first thing is thirty thousand listen back of how i pitched that you know i don't really recommend if you know you go with this it's probably more than you need you actually discourage it and this is helps build trust the reason is you don't when you go to a car lot, these people have been sold all day, every way. People can sniff BS. And when you're actually discouraging something, something in the back of the prospect's mind knows that most someone selling something is going to get commission. So when you're actually discouraging that, it helps build a high level of trust because you're like, why is this person not trying to sell me the, the Lexus with the new tires that just came out yesterday? Why are they not trying to sell that? Why are they trying to sell me the Corolla that's still going to help me solve my needs? And that's going to build a high level of trust that's going to just build, you know, confidence in your sales approach. So that's how you pitch it and then you leave it the price. So you get the, the starter, the, the, the most common, and then the max. Now it's in the actual close. So here how you do the close. You're selling peace of mind. You're not selling, and what options work for you? What option do you want? No, it's okay. So Mr. Johnny, you know, as a man, do you feel that 15000 so you always do the starter option, the 15000 or the most common, or that most common of $59, or that most common, which is the 20, do you feel the 15000 or the $20,000 option? What do you feel as a man would give you the most peace of mind at night? Do you think that 15 or the 20? So you only pitch the two options. And he's going to say, um, you know, 
uh, I don't know. I could probably do both or I could do the 15,000 or actually I want the 30,000. So that's how you structure your offer. That's how you create, um, you know, something of value and how you explain, you know, and how you tackle that price to value discrepancy, create offers where it explains value and then give them the price and then a whole different section can be on objection handling.